In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write data inside Firebase real-time database. Hello guys, and welcome to Master Coding channel. We will continue with the complete Android developer course, and we will learn how to use Firebase to write data inside its real-time database. And in next videos, we'll see how to retrieve this data and display them. So in this tutorial, we are going to write data inside our database. If you want to uh, these lessons and these uh, written tutorials, you can download our master Android application from Play Store and go to Android section and go to uh, uh, these sections and you can see the storage and persistence and we are uh, showing like the, the lessons about Firebase. So it is 67. Now, in order to uh, allow uh, the, uh, the database inside uh, our application to manage the connections, we need first of all to go to Android manifest and add the user uses permission and called internet. So in this way, we have added the internet permission for our application. Now, we need to add inside our build gradle at the level of application, we need to add another one. So here he's telling us there is a new version and I'm going to implementation, implement the Google and Firebase 19.2.1 so I'm implementing the Firebase database so uh, like this is this is for for uh, Firebase SDK and uh, analytics and this implementation for real-time data base okay let's uh, click on sync now and we are uh, clear to uh, proceed now we open to the, ma the main activity waiting for downloading the place to uh, play services and in this time I'm going to write the message to database write message to database okay in order to do that, we still we need to install the latest SDK, which is 17.3, and waiting for the Gradle to finish. So after finishing downloading, and I'm going to write the message to database. So I will start by making Firebase database, and I will call it database, and an instance of Firebase database and get instance. In this way, I'm getting I'm creating a Firebase uh, database uh, object called database. Now I will create a database reference and my my ref and database dot get reference. I will call it message. Okay. In this way, I'm making a database called database. Then I'm making a reference for this database and getting its reference in the path of called message. Now, my reference dot set value called hello master coding channel and we close. Now, Let's run our emulator and see what's happening. So after running our application, let's go to the uh, Firebase and go to console and see the project. And we go to the dat database here. And let's create the database in a test mode. Okay, click done. 
and everything is working fine. We are creating the database at the server side uh, on the internet, on the Firebase. So here is our application, just waiting for the Firebase to configure the database and see if our data has been sent successfully. Otherwise, we will restart the app. If nothing will happen, we are going to configure what there what the, uh, what are the errors but till now we are creating the database and it may take uh, some um, um, time don't worry and i would see and here we go we have the database this is the console of database and we select here cloud with uh, despite the uh, cloud firebase firestore we will use the real time database so first of all these lessons we are uh, we are going to deal with the real time database and then we will upgrade for cloud firestore so select fire real time database and see the rules for this to check if it is uh, allowing us to write and read from the database so I will select the rules, rules tab from here. And let's configure the read through and the write would be also through. Let's publish, dismiss and let's publish. rules published successfully let's go to the database and here we go it is empty now we can like uh, close the application and uh, run it uh, again this is uh, the application my firebase okay this is the application I can run it or I can click on run here. So just waiting for the database to ensure that it is empty. Okay, it's null. And we can run the application as I told you or hit run. Okay. And here we go. Very nice guys and everything is working fine here is the reference and we are putting the ins uh, inside the reference a message and saying hello master coding channel so look guys i want to say uh, like uh, subscribe now to get latest tutorials If I run it at the same moment, it will change. Amazing. This is the improvement and this is the cap capability of Firebase. It's very awesome um, like thing you should know for back uh, as a back end for your applications. Thank you guys. We will move into next uh, 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 steps next advanced steps like reading like uh, making complex messages like making uh, new data uh, models and uh, very complex data models and uh, we are going to build a real apps so for to get them to get the source code please subscribe below hit like and comment to give us push for making new tutorials see you in next videos